in the midnight. Somebody will come and knock. Come, 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 come. Come and remove car from the house. Pack in with food trailer and leave empty handed. Welcome to Helene's Corner. We've done criterias required when you want to buy a house. This one is when you want to rent a house. For one today is the cost of the house. Okay, you rent something that you'll be able to renew the next year. You're not going to rent a house because it's very beautiful, you see. The house so fine, so fine, then you will not pay for it. Then the next year, you, it will not be very difficult for you to pay again. Number two is ventilation. Many people have died because of lack of ventilation in the house. How many windows does it have? Is, it, is the windows wide enough? Is, is, is it airy? You know, you have to check all those things, especially for those that have uh, some all these uh, respiratory problem, maybe asthma or any other one. You will find out that when they stay in a house that soak water, you find out that they are always visiting the hospital every day. When they come to the hospital, they can, the doctor will check them and they will go back tomorrow. They are in the hospital again. Last, last, when they check the roots of the matter, <laughs> lo and behold, it is from the house they've been living. Number three is security. Is the entrance door iron? Does it have burglary? How secured is the house? Because if it's a house that is not secured, when you go out, people might just be waiting for you at the backyard. Immediately you go out. All these small, small tips, okay? They will just come and pack out all the things in that house and live with it. I am not saying that thieves cannot come to your house when they mean you, even in secured house. They can. But at least just roadside passerby thief. <laughs> just ordinary robber that is not an armed robber or a professional robber will not just see an opportunity just because your house is not what properly secured not just about the house the area the vicinity where they are living okay how secured is it the place is it the place you can bring up your child as in a way it should be you will not go and live opposite where they are selling all these uh, illegal drugs or doing illegal activity and you expect your child to turn out where majority of the time it fails yeah, is it a place you can bring up your child if it's not a place you can bring up your child all these things are part of the security you should be looking at how close is it to police station are other people living very close is there any complaint whatsoever there there's a particular street here that i went the other day and i saw everybody once they pack their car they will lose they will open the bonnets bring out their car battery and they will take it inside why are they taking it they say that thieves don't allow them rest that every day they must pick their car battery these are the things you have to check out you when you pack your car you can't even sleep when you're thinking have they jumped my fence have they done this have they done that number four is water yes water you know eh, you have to check how far is the the house does it have water running inside if it has water running inside how often is it 24 7 do you have any cost to go down to, to to buy water because if you have any cost to go down to buy water then you should be looking at living on the ground floor where it will be easy for you to carry your water inside if you don't have any cost to go down and buy water maybe it's not borrowed does it have well do they bring water in that area you are not going to go and live where if you want to bath you have to travel to jericho before you go and fetch bathroom water or even plate water that you use and wash place then we'll talk about lights and light bills you guys know the importance of lights i don't need to tell you guys now the bills we are talking about the person that is living before in the house how much is he owing you will not go and live in a house that immediately you pack in, they will just come and cut your light because what? Well, the person that is living there has not paid bill. Okay, if it's prepared meter, some people will be owing 100,000, 200,000, 500,000 on one prepared meter and you living in that house, you will come and inherit the whole bill and you will be the one paying for it. You will not be in a place that even in the next five years, yeah, one year you won't see light six months you won't see light three months you won't see light so you have to check out how often they give light in that area before you go and pay for it even when it's prepared meter at times the person might be owing up to even 100,000 200 and you come and pack in and be the one to be paying their old bills when they've already used it these are things that you need to consider but since is proximity to your place of work your business area and uh, how close is it i'm going to go and live in yanikpaja and be going to work in lekki or in a uh, vi uh -huh. you're not going to do that it will be very very far for you for instance if you spent six hours or 
let's say three hours to get to your place of work in a day only three hours if you multiply three hours in a month you will see that you've already spent more than three days or four days just going to work you don't have much time to rest and this is our body after all this stress we also need rest number seven is parking space and place to wash car parking space if you have car is a thing of concern for you you should be looking out for a house that where you park your car will not be a problem inside the compound not a house that you go and park your car in the streets when you have more money you can also look out for a place whereby when you park your car inside the compound and that person will not park behind you that when you are sleeping in the midnight somebody will come and knock come 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 and remove car for me just like my compound here uh -huh. if you have too much money you also consider that one because it is not every day you come and be removing car for people removing car for people if you want to enjoy yourself but if you don't have the money you can still manage my own rather than somewhere where there's no parking space that if three or four people should buy car in that compound other people will be parking outside number eight is proximity to market how close is the place to market yes so because you need to buy some things once in a while how close is it to market uh, at times when you come back late you need to prepare something sharp sharp even if it's not the main market are there only two markets around the place where you can buy things that you use household things provision that you use in case your own finish so number nine is proximity to place of worship okay whether you're a christian you're a muslim you are an idol worshiper whatever religion you practice you have to consider how close it is to where you worship okay because all these things are at the long run will save cost for you and it will also make you to be willing to go and worship your god at any point in time 10 is who is the owner of the house what has he done what is the foundation of the house because most people believe that there are houses where you live and then the foundation is soiled and you will not be progressing some house are believed to be bad luck when you enter the house nothing will be working for you some people will pack into a house packing with food trailer and leave empty-handed so these are things to consider you ask around know exactly what you are doing before you rent a house so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you do thumbs up this video for me and drop your comment tell me what you feel which point is of major concern to you okay because some people for some people this one is not a problem but this is a problem okay and then have you had any challenge with any of the points before drop it in the comment section do you have more points for us drop it in the comment section see you guys in our next video bye bye Thank you for watching Helen's Kana.